Hello and welcome listening to One India News. I am Akash and these are the trending stories that are creating buzz. Contractual employee stage protest police use force. Police on Thursday used water cannons and batons to disperse hundreds of Jammu and Kashmir government employees who tried to march towards the civil secretary to protest in support of the demand for regularization of their services. The contractual government employees of the Public Health Engineering Department assembled at Pratap Park to protest in support of their demands. As the protesting employees tried to march towards the civil secretariat, the seat of Jammu and Kashmir government, the police asked them to disperse peacefully. The protesters, however, refused to pay heed and continued to march ahead, prompting the police to use batons, water cannons and tear smoke shells against them. Dozens of employees were detained. There is no report of anyone getting injured in police action. Rahul Gandhi on Twitter, a day after its debut on Twitter, Office of RG has acknowledged that it is official account of Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi. Watch this space for information and updates on Rahul Gandhi's official program and upcoming events, said the first tweet on Thursday. The first announcement on the account was there that the Congress leader will begin the 15-kilometer Padhyatra in Telangana's Adilabad district on May 12th. Earlier, there was a bit of suspense over the account, but a source in his team said that they were monitoring response from Twitter community before going ahead with tweets. The account, which had over 16,000 followers on Thursday noon, will tweet highlights on his ongoing campaigns, public speeches and statements to the media. DCW writes to Rajnath and Basi on Kumar Vishwas. The Delhi Commission for Women has written to the Home Ministry, the Delhi LG and City Police Commissioner on AAP leader Kumar Vishwas' failure to appear before it in a case in which a party volunteer accuses him for not rebutting rumours of an illicit relationship with her. The panel also claimed that AAP member was trying to disrupt the proceedings in the matter. The DCW had first issued summon to Vishwas and his wife on May 4th, asking them to appear before it by 3 p.m. But Vishwas did not turn up, saying that he did not receive any notice from commission. Following this, DCW on Tuesday issued fresh summons to him to appear before it and sing in front of the television camera had requested Vishwas to appear before them and help save the women's family. Later, an altercation broke up between the complainant and another AAP volunteer who had come to the commission. They both got into verbal duel, after which DCW member and investigating officer in the case, Sudha Tokas, had to intervene. 11 killed in West Bengal firecracker factory blast. At least 11 people were killed and four others were injured in an explosion in a firecracker factory in Pingala in West Midnapore district, the police said. So far, 11 bodies have been recovered. Four of those were injured and hospitalized, District Superintendent of Police Bharti Ghosh said. On the reason behind the blast, she said that we are still looking into it. Probably something went wrong during the manufacturing of crackers. The police said all the victims were staff members of the firecracker factory where the blast occurred shortly after 10 p.m. last night. The fire has been put out. Obstruction to the GST bill will stall India's development, hoping good sense will prevail amongst opposition party, including Congress Union Minister Sadhvi Niranjan Jyoti today said that any obstruction to the passage of the GST bill will stall the country's development. The goods and service tax bill was passed in the Lok Sabha yesterday. However, there are doubts over its passage in the upper house where the ruling BJP NDA government lacks majority. It is a major tax reform and will lead to single nationwide sales tax, she said, adding that the passage of the GST bill will also help the development of the warehouse sector in the country. JSPL down by 5% as court summons Naveen Jindal in coal scam case. Shares of Jindal Steel and Power Limited fell by nearly 5% today after its chairman Naveen Jindal and 14 others were summoned by a special court in the coal block allocation scam case. The stock lost 4.27% to Rs 128.90 on BSC. On the NSC, it was down by 4.59%. To rupees 128.65, later recovering some of its lost ground, the company's stock was trading at 1.23 percent lower than rupees 133.20 on the NSC. Industrialist Naveen Jindal and 14 others were yesterday summoned as accused in the coal block allocation scam by a special court, which observed that Jindal, who is a Congress leader, had prima facie manipulated entire government machinery to procure undue allotment in Jharkhand. Meanwhile, JSPL has denied denied all charges against its chairman. Well, that's all for now, but for more news and updates, log on to our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com.